Hello again, welcome back to the shed. Uh, what I've got done today is another glass from a from a picture frame. But I'm gonna do as a kind of an experiment. I've, I've sprayed it up with some spray paint. You know, let that dry. And now I'm gonna cover it mostly with spray paints. I did one recently and it, I think it turned out really nice. So I'm gonna give it a go. Um, it's a normal thing, I'm just gonna cover it now with a bit of uh, clear. Just to help the, the colors slide a bit better. Yeah, I've, uh, I've rubbed it down with um, sandpaper first. And I'll give it a coat of black. Uh, and I'll show you all these paint sprays. Uh, once I finish, I'll bring it down for a close up. And I'll show you these. Uh, I'll give it a coat of just black uh, car spray, not gloss, just a like a flat, flat one. And all the other colours are gloss. And there's a couple of uh, metallic ones. I've got a, a sort of bluey purple and red. That's metallic. And the rest of gloss. This nice, nice greeny colour. It's supposed to be yellow, but it's it turns out a nice green anyway. I'm not worried too much about this first layer. I'll cover most of it anyway. Well, you don't even really have to put the first layer on. But I like to, it makes everything work a bit better, I think. Shows the colours out straight away, doesn't it? Perhaps I should have done all this before I started the video. I normally do, I think. With the paint sprays, I needed to like open the doors and windows and, and use a mask. It really smells. It can't be much good if you're breathing it in. So it's well ventilated. I've took the mask off us as I wouldn't be able to talk really. It's a little bit more here, I think. I found it quite difficult mixing them all up because you gotta you gotta shake that the cans like for two minutes each. So I like um, how many colours have I got here? One, two, three, four, four, six, six colours. I've had two cans in each hand, like, you know. And when I do this, I like to get down and really look at it to see if I've missed any gaps. Looks pretty good. Let's get some paper. Okay, let's just get rid of a few of these bubbles.
And of course this, this warms everything up. And helps it to flow a bit. Alright, I've seen a little gap then. Just here. Okay, I'm not sure. I've got nothing really planned. I'd like to just start off trying to keep them colours the way they are. And then let's see what happens. Okay. So start with the yellow. I think I'll have a little bit of uh, alcohol spray in it. Um, probably see it there. Two sprays. That's all I normally use. This yellow one, it's uh, or green. It kind of it's kind of watery. I could put more paint in it, I think, but we'll see. This is a purple. This is a metallic. Also got some red. And that should kind of stick to the what I had there. But I've also thrown on a bit of uh, glitter. You know, as soon as I put the uh, spray paint on the under undercoat, whatever you want to call it, I just sprayed it. Sprayed it on like. All right, let's just give that a little blast. Not much is happening with that, but that's okay. More or less just a background colour. That's what I wanted from that. Right. Now this one. This is a, a car car spray, white. But I've also put a bit of um, resin for art pigments in there. Just to give it that um, sort of like pearl effect. I'll put a bit of alcohol in with that too, just a little bit. Let's look at this a minute. I think I'll take it up this way. Now this thing, <laughs> I've not got a clue what this is going to be like. This is something like, um, 
for nail varnish. It's uh, a mirror shine nail varnish pigment, I think. Um, I, I ordered it from China. Uh, honestly, I I got six parts. It was all just dust in it. So I, I did complain. That's the whole thing there. And I got my money back. So such a pity. It, it looks like it might be good. We'll just run some up here. Yeah, I checked out uh, Made in China store. That does look good. Um, you can buy all these pigments for less than nothing. But the shipping just costs you about three times as much. So, you, you know, it's not much benefit, really. I'm just going to give that a little... Well, I'll see what... That does look really nice, though. That seemed to disappear under the white there. So I've... It'll probably dry a bit different. And then this is a uh, car car spray silver. Oh no, this one's uh, this is the deco deco color. Uh, this is like for painting furniture or anything. All right, where do I want this? I think I'm going to take this up here. Just around there. Put that blend in a bit. And this is the uh, gold deco. Couple of squirts of alcohol. Okay, let's have a look. I'm gonna put that over the top, I think. Well, yeah, just a try that. Yeah,
I love that stuff. It just leaves a lovely outline every time. That's some quite nice lacing. Lacy effects. But again, the gold's disappeared there and the silver's took over. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. I think I'll put one up beside that somewhere. Come back nice there. Right, let's start take a bit of form there, a bit of shape. Not sure how that nail polish, whatever it is, it's going to turn out. Let's put a bit more on. I think it did I put any alcohol in this? I'll try a bit. Right. But then I think I'll go over that bit again. Yeah. I think I'll try some of that uh, red and purple together, or red and blue. In fact, I 
I just thought I've got some uh, I've got some blue pigment here. And this is just completely uh, resin ferrite pigment. Beautiful stuff. I love this colour. Now I'm going to put a bit of uh, alcohol on with it. That's got to be one of my favourite colours on this uh, resin. It's beautiful. That's a lovely area. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Just a bit more gold. A bit more silver.
Now, I might not have knocked that gold up quite thick enough. Just put a bit of uh, put the red on it, I think. See how that mixes with it. Some white.
There's some nice effects there. Someone was asking the other day about what can they do about the holes? They, you know, once it dries out, you got holes. Well, what I do, I, I look for them and I can see one there. So I think I'll put a tiny bit of silver in there. And I'll just gently give that some heat. Right, that's about all I can see. A few bits around the edges, but I will go over that with uh, with clear. But I'll give it a little bit longer, just to see if it, you know, shrinks back anymore. But I, it shouldn't do. It doesn't normally. I mean, that is just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to call that done. I'll bring it down now. I'll give you a close-up of it. And, uh, hang on, I'll just find the scene another one. Close that. Blue. Yeah, I'll bring it down, show you a close up, and then I'll also show you the paints that I've used. I'll just give that a bit of heat. Okay, let's have a look then. Get my gloves off. By the time I change these gloves, I've done about four paintings with them. So I think that'll be it for them. <clears throat> right, let's be careful I don't turn the camera off. Alright, let's pull this one out. I'll show you the paints just in case I forget. See all them okay? I'm in the UK so, you know, if you're in America or somewhere you probably won't get them. Deco, I got that from eBay so I should imagine you get that anywhere. These ones, just in a cheap shop. Alright, here's the paint then then. That's that uh, sort of nail varnish stuff. That's that blue. It's beautiful. There's that silver light. Look at this. I mean, that is just, look at that over the red. It's, <laughs> I love that. Beautiful. That's the, uh, well, it's supposed to be yellow. It's more like green. I'm trying to get the light good. Yeah. Coming up to that. Look at that. That's that silver. I love that silver. The gold normally goes like that, but I've, I've just got a feeling of... Uh, Perhaps mix it up a bit too weak or something, I don't know. Or too thick. That white, I'm not happy with it, I don't. I need to find a really good white. I may go back to the uh, mica whites, they were always nice. 
There's that blue light. Lovely effects with that. All the uh, resin for art pigments are beautiful, but I don't know, the white just doesn't seem that... Uh, see the edges? Yeah, the white doesn't seem that strong enough for me, I don't know. And here's that silver again, over the red. Right. Okay. That's lovely. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.